everyone and welcome back to craft time after rhyme time. My name is Miss Cho and we're going to be using simple supplies that we have in our home to make some really awesome craft projects. Now today is the letter I. You watched Miss Mucha's rhyme time already. So the letter I, we're going to be making an iguana and instead of, you know, drawing it with our mind or tracing our hand, we are going to trace our foot and it's gonna be so much fun so we're gonna trace our foot you might need somebody to help you with it or you know maybe you don't we can either do the super messy by dipping our foot in some paint or some ink or we can trace our foot and color it in so go grab some mark making supplies and your foot hopefully you already have that and let's go get started so your eyes are not deceiving you do you see my foot on the page? Please don't judge my old nail polish from the summer. And we're going to trace our foot. Now you could stamp your foot in paint if you want to get a little messy. Or we can just go ahead and trace our foot on the page. There we go. So we got our foot traced and now we can do our next step. So now we can go ahead and we can trace back over. I didn't trace my foot in marker. That way I didn't mark up my foot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trace back over. Now, if you stamped your foot in paint, you're gonna have little circles here. If you didn't, then you'll have it looking like mine. And we're gonna rotate our foot now. This is going to be the head. This is going to be our backside. We're going to draw in our tail from our pinky toe. It's going to curve down. And now we're going to draw in our front legs. And you're only going to see the paw or the other front foot from the, you don't see the full thing. Draw in our eyes. Little eyebrow. One nostril. And our smile. We'll add in our back legs. And the foot on the other side. We can go ahead and add our little thin spikiness, aka how they came from dinosaurs. All the way down. Now, if you stamped your foot, your whole iguana, or yeah, iguana is already green. Or if you're like me and we traced, we have to now color it in. But I'm going to add some stripes to the tail. And you can make this iguana your own. You can color it however you like. I think since I marked it in my green marker, I'm gonna color it in in a different supply. That way I can still see my lines, my eyes, my mouth. You can color it in with a crayon, but that contrast really does help show your iguana. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color the whole thing green now. And there is our finished foot traced iguana. So I hope you had fun tracing your foot or stamping your foot on your page and making your iguana. I think mine came out pretty cute and I can't wait to see how yours turned out. So remember, feel free to 
post it on the Winfield Public Library's Facebook page and tag me, Choate Studio, or Marissa Choate in that photo so I can take a look. I can't wait to see how your iguanas turn out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, like this video if you enjoyed it, comment, and let me know what you want to see for our next letter. All right, bye friends.